Okay, day two. I'm going to try to get the prongs mounted on this nut today. Okay, I think about three and a half inches should be long enough. So what I'll do is just kind of eyeball, ballpark these here first. Three and a half. And then we'll go a little more than that on this one. Three and a half. And then again, three and a half. Okay, so I've got my three pieces, and the next step is to go on the lathe and put the points on these. All right, so I've got my lathe set to about 11 degree angle. I've got the piece chucked into the jaws, and uh, now I'm just gonna do this, gradually get this 11 degree angle in here. So let's get this up to our stock, crank this in a little bit, and we'll take it slow and see how this goes here. Okay, so that was the third one. I'm not sure if I got that on camera or not. So I'm gonna just assume that all three of these are about the same. This one's actually a little bit wider. I actually might throw this one back in and give it one more hit on there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I got my five inch, five sixteenths inch uh, drill bit in the press and I'm gonna try to just basically put a hole a little bit deep so I can pound it down and get it to the same angle so they're all about the same. So that means that's going to be the straight part and that'll be the bent part. See where I'm going with this? I'm just going to try to pound it down. That's going to go in all the way through till it hits the anvil. Yeah, see that's going to give me a nice a nice bend. I think that's going to be all right. Let me do a few and get them close. I'll come back and make sure they're all the same in a second. Just bring it down. As long as they're all equal, it's actually pretty damn good right off the bat. So, I mean, obviously I'm going to trim these all so they're the same, but I think that's probably what I want. I don't think you want a full 90 degree on them. You want it to spread out a little bit. I don't know, maybe a couple. Yeah, that looks good. about as good as I think they need to be as you can see if I can get these lined up just right they are all the same angle they're all even take my word for it I think the next thing to do just so I can do it precisely is take the shortest one and mark the others based on that and then just grind it down so I can do it a little bit at a time and uh, for that, we'll go back to the grinder. That's uh, how much I need to take off, approximately. So what I've done is set up my one, two, three blocks so I know that this thing is going to sit in here straight up and down. 
and I got these two nails under here which give me just enough height so it centers it in the middle of the bolt, not rather than being up or down against the flush against the floor, it's directly in the center of the nut. I've got this in here just to kind of keep it together with that for now. And I'm just gonna spot, I'm gonna put a little tack weld on there and then uh, position all three of them and make sure that they're right. And then I'll go ahead and uh, actually weld the rest once I know they're pretty straight. Yeah, not too bad. I'll rotate this one. Yep, that looks good. Put another one in here. Clamp it down. This is actually working out pretty good. That's a first. Drop it in. That is pretty nice, hey. So, in context... There you have it. Alright, we're back in the shop, and what I'm going to do is start to cut the center hole that I'm going to thread and put these uh, eye hook in here. I've got a good hole started. I've got a brand new drill bit and a brand new tap here for the uh, for this threaded 24 quarter inch uh, thread. Yeah, 20. Wow. Well. Anyways, I'm gonna just mark this drill bit so I know about how far I'm going into the hole here. Is that about right? Yeah, perfect. Just gonna hand feed it. All right, I think we're good to go right there. Um, but my idea was also to be able to throw this like upside down and use it like a little mini tripod and have a quarter inch sticking out. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just drill through the side now and have another hole so you could actually put rope right through it. That way there's no eye bolts or any of that to, to break. It'll just be through the shaft and I think that'll actually be more secure should you actually decide to hang something off of this, uh, which I wouldn't recommend a person doing to themselves hanging off of this but um go through this bad boy It's gonna be good. So then you can run your paracord right through this or put some threaded 
insert in the top. I think that doesn't really hurt the design of it at all. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put a nice little chamfer on the edges of this now though. Alright, now I just got to smooth it all out, polish it down, and uh, see how that goes. I'm going to just try to finish this up while I still got some battery power left. Hey, you know what? I have tools. I should use them. This thing is 0.5 inch exactly. Hey, how about that? And my hole is just shy of that because of the taper. I've got to go a little further in than I think I kind of want it to stick out just a tiny bit. I think we're there. Yep, that 1200 really polishes it up nice. Good enough. I mean, this is the tip of a grappling hook, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I ran out of battery and finished polishing this, but that's all polished up now. I think it looks pretty good. And now I'm going to uh, try to get this magnet in here with some cyanoacrylate glue. Um, I also have the kicker here, so I'm going to do that. Put a bunch in the bottom too. I can't, it's hard to even pull it off. Okay. There it goes. It's in and glues everywhere. Yeah, see that sticks out just a little bit. That's kind of what I was hoping for. And then there's this. So now it's just time to polish it up, polish this piece up, clean up some of my welds a little bit, and uh, this thing's done. And then I'll also have this piece that can go in here, should I want it. Once I use it a couple times it'll be easier. 
There it is. Now it's in all the way. You can see it goes through the hole. Sweet. You can always use it with the paracord through here anyway. It's also a quarter inch. Um, so you could put it. It has options this way. There you have it. So I think I'm just going to um, add a little more metal to my welds just so I can actually grind them down and make it a little bit smoother.